This video is brought to you by Batsu, a new Fakemon region. You guys have been asking for it, it's about time I delivered on it, and today we're looking at a brand new region that's gonna have brand new Fakemon, brand new regional forms, and a fusion mechanic, as today we're looking at Pokemon Virtue and Pokemon Vice. What is going on guys, my name is Infamous Trainer, and I'm showing off the West Coast region, which is a brand new region created by TC over at the official West Coast region Instagram page, who is having an amazing region put together, which I just can not wait to dive into this region is based off of the west coast of north america that being california nevada seattle and utah where is actually a place that i am living currently and really quickly i have to add as we go through all these amazing pokemon you guys know what you have to do for all the new people who are new to these videos make sure you guys hop in the comment section down below because as i go through this i'm going to say you're on the team because there is some super dope pokemon that if this was a potential fan game which tc did say that if anyone approaches him he would make this into a fan game so if any of these pokemon will make it onto your team make sure you type in the pokemon's name and you say on the team you guys know how i do man no surprises but let's go ahead and dive into the starter pokemon all right guys of course with any other pokemon region you have to start with the grass starter being oak up here and it looks adorable this is going to be the cool pokemon you can tell by the stance with the arms like this looks like a badass pokemon that means nothing but business reminds me of Trico in a way when he has like that stick in his mouth with Ash and then it evolves into Fisticub which just looks awesome it looks like it's ready to throw down and any kind of boxing Pokemon is already on my team it's already on my team no if ands or buts about it you on the squad because this already looks amazing as it evolves into oh okay for one I love the design the design is amazing it really got this kind of street kickboxer thing going on it got the little grass bandages and then the belt okay now this is how you're supposed to do a grass starter and it kind of makes me wonder can 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 uh Brizzly here take on take on my uh Shrubberu? I have Shrubberu on the screen right here this is Shrubberu off to the left hand side do you guys think that Shrubberu could take on take on this grass behemoth right here I, I'm just saying I'm just saying my guy has the kicks He's got the fist so we can see what's going to happen, right? Now, kicking on over to the fire starter, that being a Kittle. And Kittle looks super cute, adorable. And I love the fact that it's not just a very forward uh, fire type, which is fire on it. I love the fact that it just, it looks, it looks awesome. I really like the design of this. And it evolves into Go Temp. And Go Temp looks really nice. Fire rock typing. I love it. Um, and I, I'm, I'm really curious to see how the hooves work in the next stage because those look look like it really incorporates that rock really well and of course we have Eldram let's go Eldram looks badass I love the Vikinary beard I love like the kind of lava hooves and then it has that official fire on the tail and then kind of like some lava on, on its on his horns okay I see you this looks really damn good and then we have Osprey the water and it looks like it's kind of going to be someone on a boat or on a ship or something water flying type fantastic typing as it evolves on over to ASL and that looks remarkable he's ready he's got his salute up and he's ready to go ahead and go in the air and the last but not least for the water starter is going to be Cap Talon now this looks badass he, he looks like he needs official business he leads the entire flight of all the water and flying Pokemon I love all these designs but I have to say I have to say O Cubs on the team. O Cubs on the team. No if ands or buts about it. Look at him. You can't tell me this line would not go hard if this was official Pokemon. You can't tell me. You cannot tell me. Now, of course, we're about to dive into the normal Pokedex, but before we do, let's hear a quick word from our sponsors of today's video, that being Boxu. And this is Boxu, a Japanese snack subscription which comes right to your door. And if you love snacks as much as I do, this is the perfect thing for you. My box specifically was the Seasons of Japan. And let me tell you, there's so many good things in here, like the Yuzu Sake Candy, Green Tea, the Mochan Dango Mochi, Mini Red Bean Crackers, and much more. This box actually holds a lot of snacks. I don't even know what these are, but they're soft and I wanna try one. Okay, that's really good. Mm. All gone, they were delicious. 
Plus, every month is a new theme which means new snacks, and who doesn't love snacks? Also, want free tickets to Japan? Well, use my code INFAMOUS10 and my link in the description down below to become eligible to win a giveaway by subscribing to Boxu, as my code will give you 10% off your subscription. Now don't miss out on this unique opportunity available for anyone who subscribes until December 31st. Again, be sure to get your snacks, these are actually really bomb. Thanks again to Boxu for sponsoring this video. Now as we dive back into the region, we have the regional flyer, that being T-Peep, the normal and flying type. I love it. It definitely reminds me of like some kind of Indian vibes, which is always awesome, as it's actually going to go ahead and evolve into Tribeek. And it looks, it looks pretty sturdy. Like this looks like this would be a sturdy Pokemon. I'm not sure what the final typing will be, if it's gonna change or not, because I could see this being possibly a pure flying type at the end if you want it to go that route. But let's check it out as it actually turns into Pole tree really good play on words really good play on words a grass and flying type i actually have a grass and flying type i want to show off so bad for my region but this has so much character to it it definitely has that indian vibe going on and it has the the tree element in there pole tree that's just su that's such a clever way to put that name it just yeah that's, that's remarkable then we have uh, Gnawing, which looks super cute. This is hella cute. One of the cutest rodent Pokemon I've ever seen. I would definitely use this Pokemon. It's definitely up there with Squavit. Squavit is a trash Pokemon, but it is super dang on cute. And then you have Aerodent. Again, oh, Aerodent. Air rodent. I like air. I like that. I like that a lot. And it, it just looks. It looks tanky. It looks beefy. Kind of reminds me of Sentry here a little bit. Uh, but it looks really, really awesome. Again, I would. I would consider using that Pokemon. Normal and flying type too. That, that's a. That's a good typing. If you. If you have the regional bird. Right? If you have like a fire type, then you get the regional bird, and then if you want the normal type, like that's that's pretty solid. You can build a, a solid uh, like flying type team very early on. Then you have a uh, Prinsect, going to be a bug type, it looks very adorable. Uh, and then we have Aeris, Aerist, Aerist, these names, these names are so big brain. These names are so big, Prince, Prince Royalty, and then Arrest, I like it. And then you have, ooh, Dignifly, oh my goodness. And it looks like there is a slight uh, gender difference between it as we have a male and a female. Oh my God, I love both designs. I love them so much. Okay, okay, okay. Then we have Shots. Who the hell are you? Hell, are you on the team. I don't need to see no more. I don't need to see no more. I don't need to see more. I don't need to see no more. I don't need to see no more. Now, of course, I'm not getting the regional bird if I was in this region. So I've got my grass starter and Shocks. Okay, Shocks is you on the team. I don't need to see nothing else. But I know you tough. We have Bi Surge. These names are top tier. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. King TC, if you're watching this video, I need you to help me name some Pokemon because these names are top tier. Electric Ground type, fantastic typing. And then we have uh, Fawn Tom. Ooh, an early ghost Pokemon. And he has a skull on it, man. I feel like Pokemon is so scared. Of, of skulls for some reason. I know like Marowak, or uh, I'm sorry, Cubone has one, and uh, and then Alolan Marowak has one, and then Marowak has one. I, I just feel like though Pokemon is, is scared to use uh, skulls in a weird way. I, I love this design. I love the mystical flames on it. It looks incredible. As it evolves into venison and tops here on the team. On the team, on the team, on the team. It's slight. This is looking really, really good. And then we get Steedster. Hold up, that's a horse with wheels. Hold up, wait a minute. Reverse it. That is a horse with wheels. Now this is the true, this is the true essence of horsepower, okay? That is awesome. Fire steel type, really good typing. As it evolves into uh I don't even wanna I don't even wanna mispronounce the name, but it looks incredible. It looks incredible, I love it. And it has the additional engines on it. I'm guessing it's gonna be Angine. Um I, again, I feel like I said that wrong. It, it is what it is. I know people are gonna say whatever in the comments, it's cool. Fire steel type, I love the typings, what I did for my starter. I love this design. This is like really top tier. And again, the, the horse has wheels. I mean, I can't get over that. Then we have, ooh, Cap, Capricci, Capricci, the good doggo mode Pokemon. Okay, it's a dark or fairy dark type. I'm guessing this is gonna have a form change and it does bad doggo mode. I love the bad doggo mode. So it switches from fairy dark to dark fairy makes sense i like this a lot this is actually really really cool uh definitely reminds me of more peko 
100 percent but it looks really really awesome and again it's gonna have that same kind of mode switch to it which is always awesome to see then we have uh starsky this is on the team this right here might be on my team i don't have a flyer yet psychic flying fantastic typing i love the star elements to it whoa whoa, 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 whoa. what is this what is this what is this? Mur mur murmuration form murmuration form and it builds a giant one it makes a giant one. I love this. It is, it's, you've made so many big elements very early on. New Pokemon typings or Pokemon typings that haven't been used that much. A, a fantastic ghost type early on. And, and then a Pokemon that's kind of reminiscent of like wishy washy's like elements, but it's a, it's a psychic and flying type. This is top tier. This is top tier, absolutely. Then we have Possum, uh, or Possum, and Possum, the stitched form Pokemon, ghost normal type, another unused Pokemon typing, which is something I'll be introducing very soon to my region. Uh, then we have Possum seamless form. Oh, it is coming out with the cotton and everything with the stitching, okay? This is top tier. Any ghost and normal, of course, we got the recent confirmation of uh, Hisuian uh, Zorua and Zororork, and they look incredible. Normal and ghost is a, is a top tier type without a doubt in my mind then we have water okay hold up this, first of all good play on the names i can't get over the names but water electric fantastic typing i don't like uh chin chow that much or whatever that pokemon's called i don't like it i made my own water electric type being agwaki right and I love the fact that you made a dope otter Pokemon. I, I think otters are super cool. I love seeing them at the zoo. As it evolves into electricity, um, I love it, man. I, I, I don't know what else to say. You're on the team. You're on the team automatically. And then we have Ocelot. Okay. A pure fire type as it evolves into Ocelot. Or Ocelot. Um, okay. So this is... I'm wondering something. Is there a grass type after this? Okay, there's Treaver. Right, this is kind of cool because these are all, I'm guessing this is also gonna be a two stage. This is like a secondary starter line. Water, electric, fire, and then grass. It evolves into grass and steel, right? That fire type is gonna destroy this thing. But we have Lumbeeb and it looks really, really dope. This thing looks like it's gonna pack a punch. Awesome typing. I like this because it really sets up a secondary typing that you could jump into. Water, electric, super cool, fire, and then grass and steel. I, I see what you're doing here and I, I like what I see. And then we have something cute and adorable, that being Snowmy, being an ice and psychic type as it evolves into a Frigicyan, or Frigicyan, hopefully I'm saying that right, or Frig Frigician, Frigician, that is called Frigician, my bad, an ice and psychic type. This looks really dope and I love the fact that the scarf is also hands. That that is just a clever way to use the extra parts of the Pokemon. Then we have Lava. <laughs> I like this name. I love this name. Lava, right? Okay. I like I like this a lot. Fire Fairy Banger typing. I don't think this is a used Pokemon typing, so you're definitely typing into those unused typings. And then we have Lamera. Ooh, I like man, these okay on the team uh then oh wait our first our first regional form okay so we have our first regional form uh being baneri which is a, a big fan favorite with brilliant diamond and shining pearl being legit right around the corner by the time i upload this video it'll be coming out this week this is a perfect pokemon to show off and it's an ice type it's a pure ice type it's beautiful i'm guessing low punny is gonna look oh it looks like legit like like a like a skier it looks like a legit skier or ice skater that looks awesome man uh, now I did, I did get some notes, I did get some notes that this Pokemon has a split evolution. So I'm pretty sure if I'm correct based off the information, first of all, hold up one second. This is an Ice and Fairy type. Great typing, we all love Alolan Ninetales, right? But the other one has another really good typing which has not been used that much, which is going to be Lopsky, and Lopsky is going to be an ice and electric type. You know this is a Pokemon that would be epic in this region. This Pokemon would be a masterpiece to have on your team. And that's why I have to say the iconic words of, of, of on the team. You're on the team. It, this is a really dope design. And if you guys didn't know or kind of didn't guess what, what I was saying, this is going to be a female and male variant type of situation. So male, female, so you guys know. Then we have Vermini, cute, very cute. That's all, that's all I really have to say. This is adorable. What, I mean, what, what can you say? Then we have Generat, okay, good play on the words. Then we have Pyrat, and then we have 
Moistrat. Okay, 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 okay. So this is like our EV um, Pokemon of this region. So it's, you know, Vermini, the normal, the EV, then evolves into Generat, the Jolteon, the Pyrat, the Flareon, and then of course Moistrat. Okay, out of the three, Generate is really dope, but I also like Moistrat a lot. Um, Pyrat's cool, but Moistrat is definitely the wave between those two, man. Those are really, really good designs. The oh! Ooh. <laughs> okay, this is something that I saw very early on. This is actually how I found out about the Wesco region. Now, of course, this is going to be a Pokemon Virtue exclusive, this being a comic kit. So, of course, if I was getting a version of this game, which, again, any people who, who know some fan game folks, leave it in the comments down below so my boy can see it. And it is going to be a Kama Kid. Kama Kid is a pure fighting type. It is based off of a sidekick. And this is just one of the coolest damn Pokemon I have ever seen. This is this is just a 10 out of 10. I wish this was real. I would legit pay. I would pay the Pokemon company to, to make something close to this. Now, of course, this Pokemon stays more iconic as it evolves into Hero Burst, the steel and fighting type Pokemon. This is remarkable. If you're not catching the drift so far, I'll explain it in just a minute. Now, it evolves into another Pokemon that is going to be Darkow, one of the most badass Pokemon designs I have ever seen in my life, being a Dark and fighting type and last but not least is going to be Wamazan which is just uh, it just oh my goodness uh, it looks incredible and it is uh, it is a fairy and fighting type now if you guys didn't catch the drift for those who don't know these Pokemon are based off of Superman Batman and Wonder Woman okay this looks incredible one of the coolest designs but it does not end there because if you got yourself Pokemon Vice you have Crooked Really cool design, looks like a little sidekick robber. It, it, it looks really menacing and a little badass, right? Then it evolves into Luthority, a psychic and dark type based off of Lex Luthor. D just a 10 out of 10 on this Pokemon. It just fits so well with Lex. Then you have Joe Crime, a fairy and dark type. And you cannot tell me you would not put this on the team. You cannot tell me you won't put this on the team. And last but not least is going to be, I, I don't want to mess the name up. I'm pretty sure it's going to be, uh, like it's, called, it's, it's based off a of cheetah. So it's Manita, I'm guessing, is that what I'm going to say? Manita, uh, a, a fighting and dark type, incredible. Sh it just looks so good. These these six Pokemon, or these, uh, these sorry, sorry, these, these eight Pokemon are incredible. The best exclusives I have ever seen in any region, like hands down. So let's go ahead and continue because we have fossil Pokemon, which are looking actually like something that you guys should be familiar with. So kicking off the fossils, we have a Devisaur, a rock and fire type little devil demon dinosaur. It, it just it just makes a lot of sense, right? Then it evolves into Saintosaur. Saintosaur. These names are top tier. I love it. It's a T-Rex little devil. Yo, it's it's a pretty dope Pokemon, right? But I want to show you this next one, which really caught my eye, which is going to be Cubble. Cubble is awesome. Cubble is an awesome looking Pokemon. I like the way this thing looks as it evolves into Montegre. And you can't tell me you would not put this on the team. You can't tell me that. You can't because look how good it is. Look how good the design is. Who at Pokemon do I need to marry to get this somewhere? I just, it just looks incredible. All right. Then we have a Prechu, a really cool uh, Pichu uh, regional variant, which is a fossil. That's, that's not only a regional variant, but it's a fossil. So we have Prechu who evolves into Pika die is holding its tail, which is kind of like the big, uh, like Flintstone, uh, baseball bat things, clubs that cavemen like to use. It looks super cool, and it's kind of wearing like a caveman outfit with the with the fur as it evolves into the mighty and something I think the Pokemon company at some point would like to do, being Gorochu, being a rock and electric type, and it does look phenomenal this looks incredible i love the design of this pokemon and i couldn't be happier with it it looks it, it looks really good it does look really really good i i like the way this this pokemon was set up rock and electric gore 2 hopefully one day gore 2 becomes a real thing 
Then we switch on over to Capadre, which is going to be something I'm guessing is going to be a, a uh, coffee inspired Pokemon as a lot of people love their coffee in the morning. Uh, so your coffee kind of Starbucks based Pokemon being a dark and psychic type as it evolves into Brudini, a very sinister cup of coffee, which looks really, really cool as well. We have Quilder, which just looks like a just he like he's just he's just doing his thing right i mean it's a cool pokemon and then i don't even want to mess up the name of this pokemon but it looks really cool as it's using its needles to pound into the ground then we have uh Filfer, Filfer, okay, Filfer, a ground type Pokemon, but it evolves into a Pokemon I love, and that is going to be Barkop. This is another Pokemon that I saw in passing when I was scrolling on Instagram. This right here caught my eye immediately. Kind of reminds me of the of the dog from uh, Power Rangers SPD because it has the lights. It's, I mean, you can't go wrong. Ground and fighting type, also another unused Pokemon typing. I love the fact that you're incorporating those into the region. And then we have uh, a regional Meowth, like you always should have with any Pokemon. My region this one being fury uh fairy type what was it fury fairy type it evolves into pampered oh my goodness the names are just 10 out of 10 and and i love it it looks really cute and adorable like a lot 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 better version of what glam Yow could have been is what i would say right then we have magikarp who never gets anything Magikarp never gets anything, but it has a regional form. It looks like a straight up badass fish right here, keeping the pure water typing, but I wonder what it evolved into. I'm guessing it turns into, I don't wanna mess up the name, but it's a water and dragon type. And it doesn't look anything like Gyarados. This looks nothing like Gyarados. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't I don't know how to feel about this Pokemon. I don't know how to feel about this Pokemon. It, it, it's really different in comparison to Gyarados. But I do like the fact that it's a water and dragon type because that's something that I'm pretty sure fans would love Gyarados to have. But I think if you give Gyarados the dragon typing, it's it's just overpowered. It's just back to back regional forms as we have a regional Hone Edge and this one is going to be a rock and ghost type as it evolves into Dewblade kind of being two axes. Okay, so this is one axe to two axes. I'm guessing the last one is gonna be axe inspired as it's actually gonna be called Axorist. Okay, uh, it, it, you know, our Axorist, Axorist, this is a really good Pokemon. I like it a lot. It's a it's a dual sided axe. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with that at all. Then you have a Triplia. Hope oh, Triplia. Tripli. Triplia. I I'm just messing up the name. This is three bucks. It's three bucks. It's, it's a bug's life. It's cool. Then we have Dirtimid. Or sorry, Dirtimid. We have Dirtimid being a ground type that's scared of its own shadow. I actually saw a video once of a kid scared of his own shadow, and it was hilarious. It was just the funniest thing ever. Then we have uh, Barberry being a grass type. It looks like a little berry Pokemon that I would just eat up off the ground and he'd be gone forever. And then we have a regional Apom, normal steel type, a really cool looking Pokemon, and of course another unused Pokemon typing. Now next up we have Zenetic, which looks like some kind of Zen metal turtle, which I think looks super cool. Then you have a Trump Trumgazi, Trumgazi, a uh, weird, weird one for me. I don't know if I would use this Pokemon, but the typing is always cool to see uh, steel and electric. You have Cubling, this thing is weird. This thing is weird, bro. <laughs> this is such a weird Pokemon, but I like it because it's inside of an ice cube. And then, ooh, okay. Isoclaw, Isoclaw, okay. This thing looks badass. How does this turn into this? I mean, I see the bug on the inside, but how does this turn into this? That looks like a monster. Then we have a Viper Race, uh, a pure electric type. He looks fast as all hell. Oh, ooh, a wheel Pokemon? His Celerate, his Celerate. I like that, I like that. Another electric and steel type, that's awesome. Then we have uh, Pebble, 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 like Pebble, rock and ground type. Then we have Gem Mole. And, oh wait, I just skipped past it all fast. Gem Mole, I love the kind of diamond icy aesthetic to it. That looks really, really cool as it's based off of that one animal with the, the that weird thing. That, ew, it doesn't look that great to me in real life, but it is what it is. Rock and ground type, fantastic typing. Then you have rap tile. My boy is ew, ew. This is a perfect DJ Pokemon. Normal dragon type, which is, that is, I think the only one we have is um drampa if i'm correct let me know in the comments down below if i'm correct on that because i'm not 100 percent if that is the only one that we have and then it evolves into uh it evolves into sound bite 
damn these names are good it has cds all over it you have to give it a really cool cd attacking move like changing scales for sure but give it some kind of like cd drive ability or something it needs something cool then we have Spookrow, a Scarecrow Pokemon, pure grass type. I'm guessing when it evolves, turns into a grass and ghost type. Oh, it doesn't. Scarecrow, a grass and electric type. I did not expect that because I would think it'd be a ghost with it being... Okay, you caught me. This was good. This is, this is a good mod though. Um, and actually, with that being said, this is actually going to end it for the main Pokédex. Now, I want to say, this region is not finished, right? But I do want to show you guys some of those Pokémon fusions, which I'm going to explain to you in here in just a second. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, we're actually going to be looking at some variation of Pokemon fusions with a brand new method called the MX Evolution. Now, of course, I've kind of read over this recently, and it talks about the cohesion gauge and what is all needed for you guys to have these fused together Pokemon. So essentially what I got is these meters will fill, and of course you will need the corresponding Pokemon to eventually have it, but you guys can of course pause the screen and read this one, this one here, and as well as just those two because it kind of explains it with a picture here because if you have yourself a uh, a, a slow poke with a shelter it's going to of course make the pokemon called slow bro but you don't need to use like the, the 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 proper stone you just need to fill the gauge same thing if you have three dug trio but you don't want to evolve it you can do the same exact thing so we have some really cool pokemon that is just really fusion awesome that looks super heavy and i love this brand new phenomenon the mx phenomenon looks really really cool so let's dive into it with swarm Mutt, a ground and bug type and you guys may see this pokemon it's a little familiar as it actually is a combination of two pokemon that being the uh filfer earlier as well as the Triply, hopefully I said that right, Triply, and it just co combines into a really cool fusionary Pokemon. I, I think it looks incredible. Then we have uh, Terran. Terran is a grounded ghost type. It looks like that Pokemon, scared of its shadow, has embraced the shadow, uses it for attacks. It looks like with a bond between accepting uh, it, its, its ghostly friendliness, it actually becomes a lot stronger. It is no longer afraid. And then you have a Barrage, which just looks super cool. It's multiples of those little berry Pokemon we saw earlier, and it can evolve as well. So you need three of the berries, you get Barrage, and then it evolves into Berry Vern, and it just looks so good. Grass and Dragon type. I would definitely add this to the team if I already didn't have a fire type Pokemon. And I think the other one, yes, is going to be Ambipom and Electric and Steel type, taking that normal away. And it mixes together with the Pokemon that you guys know and love from the Kanto region being Magneton. And I just think this is a perfect way to introduce a brand new phenomenon like this because there's just not something out there. And I believe Pokemon Fusions is eventually going to come into the real world of Pokemon. It's just a matter of when is that going to actually come to the region or any other Pokemon game when that time comes. Now, of course, I didn't want to end off the video without showing you guys the legendary Pokemon of Vice and Virtue. So, of course, when it comes to Pokemon Vice, this is what the legendary looks like. I love the Serponoid feel to it. It looks really menacing, true legendary stature. And, of course, when it comes to Pokemon Virtue, I think this looks just even more amazing. Personally, I would get Pokemon Virtue. I love this kind of bird design. It just looks so magnificent. I forget the names, but you guys can, of course, check it out officially yourself and if you want to get more info head on over to the official West Coast region Instagram account and you can see all these pictures and many more because again this region is not finished now of course there was one more Pokemon design that I actually cannot show you guys as he is going to have an official reveal over on his Instagram account but it does fall in line with the other legendary so I want you guys to definitely go over there follow him to see more of this region and possible fan game in the near future well, Pokechamps, what did you guys think of Pokemon Virtue and Pokemon Vice and overall the West Coast region? This by far was definitely one of my favorite Pokemon regions to show off to you guys because it's been a while since I've shown one as I've been working on my own region for the longest now and this region has so much potential and I'm asking please someone reach out and like just offer this man a fan game get the people on board because this will make a really really good fan game just with the Pokemon alone but let me know your thoughts in the comments down below let me know what Pokemon have joined your team and what region should I check out next I know tons of you guys have been asking me about this Yarno region because it is an India based region and let me tell you I want to do it but 
but once it's completed because I want to show off all the amazing designs but maybe I'll reach out soon but let me know your thoughts in the comments down below let me know what you guys want to see next what Pokemon is on the team and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys later bye I got you.